Hi, George here with another Photoshop Elements photo project. Today we'll be using Photoshop Elements to change the background in here and change it from a studio background over to a white background, just like that. And we'll be doing it here in a later version of Photoshop Elements, which has the Subject Select tool up in the Select menu, and that can save us a lot of time. Now you can still do the same project if you have an older version of Photoshop Elements. It just means you'll have to take longer to make this selection, and I'll explain how that's done in this video as well. Okay, let's just start off by getting rid of all of these excess layers over here, right hand side, delete all that stuff. There we go. And the first thing I always do whenever I use Photoshop Elements to do any editing is to make a copy of the background layer. Just right click right where it says background, duplicate layer, choose OK, hide the original. Half the time I don't need to do this, but I always do it anyway just as a habit. I think it's a good habit to be in. Okay, now we need to make a selection around the subject. Changing the background to a white background is like changing the background to any other color background. We need to remove the background and then put in a white background behind it. So for that, again, this works in later versions of Photoshop Elements. Go up to Select, come down to Subject, and let Photoshop Elements find the subject for us. And there we go. And that takes care of a lot of the work for us. A few things to fix. It kind of missed the left side of the hat and the right side of the hat. We'll have to fix both of those things. Aside from that, it's just fine. Now the nice thing about any selections here in Photoshop Elements is that you can come back in and modify or adjust the selections after you've created them. Just grab a selection tool. We'll be using the polygonal lasso tool. Now if I was going to be doing this in an earlier version of Photoshop Elements, I would do this step I'll be doing right here, but for the whole outline. Same exact technique. Okay, let's just zoom in over here, left hand side. And then with this tool, again the polygonal lasso tool, you want to come down here and add to the selection. Make sure that add is selected. I have my feathering set at one pixel just to soften the edge up just a touch. And then come back into the selection a little bit here and click right on that dotted line. This is what's called the marching ants. Click on that and then work from that line and around. That way it lines up exactly. Now with the polygonal lasso tool, take your time. Give it a beat between each click. If you don't, then it's going to collapse the selection. And you don't want to do that. That would mean starting all over again, and that's always a boring thing to do. So just come down, find your next position, little click, next position, click, and so forth. Bring it all the way down until you're into the next selection, right down here, and then come inside, and then go back up and find your original spot where you started from. And it'll be up around in here someplace, and then just double click when you're close, and that then closes that selection. Now right up here, I'll hold the space bar down and move this picture. It's a little bit right here, kind of a bump. We can remove that. And that's changing to the subtract from selection. Same idea, just go straight across there, just following that selection and out and around, back to the start, and then cut that piece out. Okay, space bar again, go over to this side. And have this piece to add in, so make sure you're back on the add section. Again, come into the selection, come right on that line, back in just a little ways, so you can come out of that, right against that edge, so it lines up properly and then just work your way around. And the reason why the subject select missed these corners is because they're too close to the background for it to spot that difference. And we'll come down right down, in fact, clear down to here this time, back to the beginning, get real close, double click, and it closes that out. Okay, that takes care of that. We've now finished off that selection. Everything else looks good. I'm looking at the hair, I always check that out. That's too thin to catch, I'm not gonna bother with that. And I think we're just fine. It's a little bit right down in here. Let's go ahead, we'll just catch this. Same trick, make sure we're on add still, and we are. And this just come around and get this little bit of the hair right in here. Again, when you're using this tool, give it a little bit of a beat each time you use it so you don't collapse your selection. Back into the beginning, double click, finish that off, and there we go. Okay, back to the zoom tool. Hold the alt down to zoom out or we can zoom out using the zoom control right down here. And that looks pretty good. Let's just go to fit screen. And there's our basic selection. Now we need to convert this into a new layer without that background. And there are two ways of doing this. The easy way is just to go back to a selection tool, click on refine edge. I have my feathering here set at one pixel, click on refine edge. Don't bother with any of this stuff. We're just using this to make our layer mask for us. Come down to output two. New layer with layer mask, choose OK. And there we go, we've now removed that background. Now all we need to do is just to put a new background in behind. So come down one layer, 
click the new layer button right here, go over to your colors left hand side, and then put the white in front. That's that little arrow right here, white in front. Grab the paint bucket and click inside there, and that fills that layer with white. And there we go, we've now changed that background to a white background. Now, because we can put any background we want in here at this point, I'll just do one real fast one here. Let's make a new layer like that. Go over here, grab the gradient tool. I'll change this linear gradient. Click on the gradient itself. This brings up the gradient editor. And here you can choose any gradient that you want. I'll just change this to color harmonies two. Should be something nice in here like that one right there. Choose okay. Then I'll pull a gradient just diagonal across like that. And there we go, there's our new background. You can then sure hide that. So you can change this to any background you want once you've removed the original background. And if you wanna learn more about how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out my channel a lot when you do that. Click on subscribe to catch all of my new videos and I'll see you next time.